Hi everybody, this is Jay Simons, I'm the president of Atlassian. You're live with Siebert Media. Hi there, I'm here with Jared Beard, and we wanted to talk about who are you, what your company does, what you do with Jira and all this stuff. Can you give me a, re a short intro about your Atlassian software use in your company and your role in your company? Sure. Um, as you said, my name is Jared Beard. I am the IT manager for ADI Strategies. Uh, we're based out of San Francisco, and we are a technology services company. We provide Hyperion S-based consulting services uh, to a wide array of clients across the globe. Um, our company is about 135 people right now, and we're using Jira and Confluence both for managing all of our internal projects as well as we're starting to use it for some of our external projects. Um, currently, we're using Dataplane from Arsenal for our reporting applications. Uh, we report data up to our management and executive level from the project level, and we use the Arsenal reports in order to communicate information at the correct level to our management team. And also at the project level, we use certain reports to manage our day-to-day -day activities. Awesome. So, um, um, how yeah. did you um, get aware that something like Arsenal Data Plan is available um, for you? Actually, we found it in the uh, beta testing period uh, on Jira's Atlassian Marketplace. And we were looking for something more robust than Jira provided in terms of reporting solutions. Their charts and graphs, uh, while functional, aren't necessarily the, the cleanest and most presentable or the most configurable, quite honestly. Uh, so we were looking for a better solution, and we found this application and tested it out and fell in love with it immediately. Uh, clearly, it's in its infancy. Uh, there are some things that need to be added to it, and the team at Arsenal is working diligently to improve it constantly. Uh, we've been very pleased with its growth so far, and we decided to go ahead and purchase it. Uh, we've had it in use now for, oh gosh, I guess five months, and we're loving it so far. Awesome. So, um, my question, did it help you? Uh, seems to be obsolete, right? It, it definitely has helped us. It's given us visibility into uh, our application from uh, a higher level where we can do some more analysis and see trends. Um, and, and growth in our tickets, our response times, and, and we can measure those things and act on them rather than just viewing tickets from a, a straight table view or something along those lines. Uh, it gives our managers a, a quick snapshot into how things are going on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, they're able to manage more effectively because of it. Awesome. Um, could you describe a specific situation where um, you've been using data plan and it helped you way more than the normal Jira chart. It, I, can, I could imagine that there are managers out there who say, oh, I see all these colorful charts that Jira spits out and looks fine, so why should I bother getting something else? Uh, what specific situation did you experience where this was really helpful? Well, we found that we needed to be able to segment our data and look at it at a different uh, from a different angle than maybe the JIRA internal charting tools would provide. Uh, we wanted to be able to uh, gather aggregate information about specific things in our system, like, uh, of course, how many open tickets how do we have, and how is that growth pattern, uh, or what is our response time to our support tickets that come in. And, uh, but we also wanted to break that down in the same chart by, by user. And so the bar charts and some of the um, time from status to status charts that data plane provide allow us that flexibility to be able to use color coded uh, color coded lines and bars and stacks to be able to view those things in multiple dimensions at the same time on the same chart and it's much cleaner than what Jira provided out of the box. So when you're the IT manager in your company, right? And yes. if I'm your ADI strategy CEO, how would I describe how this helped um, you as a company, like from a management perspective? Well, the return on the investment is huge because uh, our managers don't have to spend as much time pulling data out of, out of uh, JIRA and then importing it into Excel and trying to generate charts that are more, more presentable. Um, the JIRA built-in charts, while they're fine, uh, again, they aren't as uh, clean and presentable, in our opinion, 
um, as they should be. And the Arsenal reports uh, have clean lines. Uh, they're broken down. The legends are beautiful. Uh, they provide backing data in table format in addition to what the charts provide. And we can export those and present them in a, a way integrated with our Confluence application uh, or just in a PDF that we can send to our customers and feel confident that they're going to be able to not only understand the data, but it's visually appealing to them as well. So um, the impression that our customers as well as our executives have of what's going on in our company, uh, it, it just gives a much better sense of who we are and it puts us up on a higher level, I feel, uh, than we would have experienced with just the JIRA reporting. Okay. So would you recommend um, uh, Arsenal to other JIRA users or to a friend of yours? Absolutely, I have been. Um, it's, it's been great for us and I've had discussions with the folks at Arsenal about where they're headed with the tool. Um, I've, I've been following their releases constantly and we're taking the new features and using them, testing them out, providing a lot of feedback for them. And uh, we're very pleased with the direction of the tool, and I feel like it's going to be in constant development for a long time and only get better. Uh, so with the amount of benefit we're getting from it today, I can only imagine how we'll benefit from it in the future. And I know that my colleagues and other companies uh, would benefit from it as well. So who's the main target group in your opinion? Like rather the technical people like Twitter or Facebook, or rather like the management tops? top-down style Chevron or Bank of America type of companies? Um, well, I don't really see why it wouldn't work for both, honestly. Uh, it's, it's technical enough for your teams at the lowest level and a technology company to be able to get the information they need out of it, uh, but it's also presentable enough to be valuable to people in other companies who maybe aren't as technology-driven, but they do like organized data and presentable data. I, I think it honestly would work well for any any company. Yeah, probably I should uh, uh, say that both in Chevron and Bank of America I know that there's a lot of agile and probably also in Twitter and Facebook is some top-down things. So uh, talking about all these awesome things about Arsenal, what is the biggest downside? What's What does not work the way you want it to? Um, well, honestly, the one piece that's missing, and I know that the, the guys at Arsenal are working on this, um, but and it's early, like I said, it's in its infancy. So the one thing that's in, uh, missing in there is the ability to drill into the reports. Um, in the JIRA built-in reports, you can click on a segment, uh, and then it will take you to the list of issues that that particular segment in the graph represents. Uh, that's not available currently right now. They have some hover-over uh, information that pops up. Uh, but you can't click through and drill into the reports yet. It's coming. Uh, I'm sure that it will be delivered very soon. And once it's there, um, there really won't be much missing at all for uh, for our use cases. Have you built custom reports already? Or it sounded like you have been going to David and Scott and telling them, look, I need this and that, and then they built that for you? Was that a kind of uh, a custom report building? Or oh, did, you, did you do custom reports yourself also? Oh yeah, all the reports we're using are custom reports. Um, we're going in, building the reports based on filters that we care about and uh, modifying things in terms of the segmentation <laughs> and what we're analyzing, the dimensions we're using. Um, they're, they're all customized from the, uh, we'll call them the administrative uh, base reports. They have some uh, pre-built reports that are geared towards managers and so forth. Uh, we haven't delved into those yet. We like to have fine-tuned control over everything, and so we're going in and building from scratch. Uh, the things that I've been working with the folks at Arsenal on uh, are new feature requests, um, certain new reports that we'd like to see, in particular linked issue reports. Um, so it's, it's more about just feedback in terms of performance and asking for additional features and enhancements where we see the value. You seem to be very satisfied with their support. Oh, yeah, I love it. They're very responsive. Uh, I always hear back uh, the same day, if not within the hour after I send in a request. Um, not to say that there are lots of problems with the application. There are not at all. Uh, it's just that we use it heavily. And so as heavy users, we dig in deeper than maybe a light user would. And so we find areas where we'd like to have a little tweak here or 
there or something added just for our own benefit. Awesome. Um, but yes, we, we really love the support that we get from them. They're very responsive and willing to work with us. Okay. So if you have all these custom reports in your company, how do you share them? Do you send them via email? Do your CEOs get them from within Jira? Do you print them out and lay them on their tables? How do you work with that actually in your company? Uh, we do multiple things, actually. So part of the work that we do involves external clients, obviously. And so some of our reports we take and we attach it inside of a, a separate document uh, that we send out on a monthly basis to our clients just to report response time or adherence to our SLAs with them. Um, but internally, we actually deliver these reports on dashboards in JIRA for the project teams. And then we also have them uh, imported into our Confluence pages for the particular um, project teams and executive review. Okay. I'm excited to see how data plan or where the data plane flies. And um, if you want to try out uh, Arsenal Data Plane yourself, you need obviously need a Jira. You can download it from the marketplace and uh, activate it. Uh, and try it out for free. If you want to buy it, you can go directly to Arsenal, you can buy it through the marketplace, or you can come to an expert like us in the US or any other country. And um, if you want to get hold of Jared, is there a Twitter user or something that you, you would want to share where if I'm seeing this video and I want to ask you a specific question, can I get hold of you somehow? Um, no, but you can email me at my company email address. It's jcbiard at adistrategies.com. Awesome. Even better. Jared, thank you very much for your time.